What's going on guys, Poofy here with the car guys once again today, um, bringing you a brand new video for a double upload Tuesday. So today guys, I want to just come up with a little video here. Um, it's come to my attention a lot of people don't know how to do this and um, quite frankly, you know, I think I'm guilty of it too and I think a lot of other players are guilty of it and that's properly side decking. I think people don't really know the proper way to side deck um, you know, to win a match in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, first and foremost, before I get into the actual side decking portion, I think the way you side deck is how you build your or construct your main deck. Now, we're gonna go with we're gonna just go with Shadals. That's something I know the best, and I want to relay kind of what I gather in my brain to you know give you a visual about how to properly side deck. Now in Shadals, um improperly building a deck like Shadal's. You're gonna, you know, build your deck to beat the best deck. You're gonna put your main engine in the deck. It's gonna be roughly, you're gonna say, two to three fusions, so five to six fusions all together, and then your entire nine monster count, then the Veilers and the Mathematicians. So you're gonna, you're looking, you're looking around actual core cards to play, roughly about 25 to 30. Now, after you have those 25 to 30 cards, you have about 10 cards for Wiggle Room to put other tech cards in your deck, such as, or any power cards, such as Regeki, Book of Moon, Foolish Burial, Bo uh, Black Luster Soldier, um, Fanny's Emptiness, uh, Mistakes, things like that, and you can tech your deck out to beat the meta. Now, that's with that being said, you know, a lot of your cards that you main deck might not be good against every other deck of the format. And that's where side decking comes into play. You're going to say you're playing a deck where you're playing a pair of, like, Shadals, we're going to say. Um, you're teching cards like Pero Pero Cerberus, I think is what it's called. Effect Veiler, um, Breakthrough Skills. Um, things things along the lines of that. Maybe even Mistake, like if, you're, if you decide the main mistake. Now... Obviously, those cards aren't good in every single matchup. Obviously, Valor's good in um, good against Necros. It's good against Tellers. It's not good in the mirror match, really. Um, things like that. Now, this is obviously where Psyduck can come into play because there's a deck called Clifforts. Um, now, you want to give yourself an edge versus the best deck. And in your main deck, sometimes you have to sacrifice a game. Um, you, you might get lucky in a game one against the, your worst matchup, which in this case would be Clifforts. Um, now, obviously, your side deck is going to come into play for that as well. Um, you're playing a lot of dead cards versus that deck, like like I previously stated, Breakthrough Skills and Effect Veilers. Those five to six cards, if you're playing two of each, three of each, and Pero Pero, um, all those cards are going to be dead against the matchup, but that's where your side deck comes into play. When you're using your side deck, your side deck should be cards universal towards each deck. Fairy Wind, MST, Denko Seca. Denko Seca is obviously good against Cleave if you're not playing the Turbo version. Um, it's good against the tellers, things along the line of that. Now, um, how to properly side deck. When you're looking at your deck after game one, you sit there and analyze, how did my opponent play? How did I play against my opponent? What cards am I main decking really bad in that certain matchup? So you're going to sit there for a minute. You're going to look, oh, well, I have, you know, I play three Valor. Oh, look, I have three, uh, you know, Ghost, Ogre, and Snow Rabbit in my side deck. They're both light. Let's interchange them. Ghost Ogre serves double purpose now. Ghost Ogre serves a purpose of an MST from your hand to kill a scout or kill anything you might need it to kill for the Clifford matchup. Or it can act as a light target for your fusions. Um, it's a tuner, so you can synchro with it, make a Leo like I did at Nationals. Now, there's a few things that you can do with that as well. I mean, the, the card has endless endless opportunities against the Cliff War matchup. Obviously, it hits a lose one turn, so that's another thing that you could use for that. Um, breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill, you're going to side out. Obviously, you're going to take that right out. The, unless the guy's playing a <laughs> frontline observer, I hate to say that as a, as a reference. You, any of you guys that um, have watched videos would know what I'm talking about. Hint, hint. You would take out breakthrough skill, obviously, because the they don't have effects, you know, and if the one that actually gets the effect would be a disc, and disc isn't played now at, at the most part. Unless you're playing a turbo, even then they're really not going to even get the effect off of the actual disc. Looking at your entire side deck as a whole, you want to look 
and you don't want to overside. Oversiding is a really bad thing. Everybody likes to side 10 cards. Unless your 10 cards that you're siding in helps you progress your game state as you're playing the game as well, it's it's not worth it to me. Now there should be cards that are going first compared to going second, like Maxi versus something else. Um, like if you're going second, I think Maxi is a better card than going first. Because if, you, if you're going first and you open a Maxi, obviously it's good to a certain extent if you're playing like Burning Abyss. Um, but if you're opening it, it's one card that you're not going to be able to use in your opening turn so now you're limited to four cards compared to the five you would if you went second you having max in your deck now there's a lot of cards that require you going first to use compared to going second like maxi there's a couple of the cards I'm just blanking on right now but there's a lot of different ways that you can side deck versus certain matchups now <clears throat> I want you guys to tell me what you guys think down below uh, in the comments section tell me what you guys side deck how you side deck um, what cards are good against certain matchups the dead cards that could be de uh, bad versus certain matchups. Obviously, you're going to probably end up bringing MST or Fairy Wind into the deck because people are going to be side decking like hate, like if you're playing a light or dark deck, light imprisoning mirror, shadow imprisoning mirror. Um, it's Cliff Forts, for example. Cliff Forts main deck, Floodgate. Hell. And so obviously you're going to play stuff like Fairy Wind MSC to get rid of those lose one turns, those skill drains, the scout, um, the sacrifice, things things along those lines. I'm, I'm forgetting cards, obviously, but that's what you guys are here for. To help you guys learn more, who better to learn from other um, players in the area, in, in the United States, around the world? Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Tell everybody else what you think is good side deck material for this format. I'd love to know what you guys think um, about proceeding with this format since we already know it at this point you know Konami really didn't do anything that drastic than bringing like Trish back and putting sure at the one and banning Lavalo Chan and Jin so if you guys wouldn't mind comment down below tell me what you think about side decking what you how you properly side deck versus certain matchups when you're playing a certain deck I'm gonna be getting into more detail about that later on I'll be getting into more detail with the entire team showing you guys how to properly side deck for each matchup for each deck now I think that's something that you guys would greatly appreciate as well want to go into your uh, locals your regionals your ARGs your YCS's and uh, so on and so forth your 1k's and things along those lines um, if you guys wouldn't mind as well we would love for you guys to follow us on Instagram like our Facebook page and most importantly join our Facebook group we always um, you know discuss things on the actual Facebook page um, when we're frequently on and everything like that if you guys wouldn't mind definitely check that out don't forget to hit that like button um, if you didn't like it like this video refresh the page try it again I guarantee you'll like it a second time but that's pretty much it for me guys don't forget to check out super games and we'll see you guys next time I'm Swoofy here with the car guys see you later